Hi guys, it's currently Friday, so we, we being me, Harper and Aaron's mum, are going down to Kelso to walk the cross country ready for Sunday's one day event. So I'm going to take you along so you can see what we will hopefully be jumping. I'm really not sure how it's going to go. I spent yesterday trying to school kipper which took 45 minutes just to get anything remotely calm and nice. So I know the dressage really isn't going to go well, but I need to put my big girl pants on, ride positively both show jumping and cross country if I want us to get anywhere or even closely remotely around the course. So I will take you to see the cross country fences. We are getting eliminated with that one. Good morning, it's event day. I am so nervous, so, so nervous. So I, I'm at the yard, they're all fed, they're all mucked. I've already bathed the kipper. Um, I just had to go and pick up the spare key for the pickup truck because the one I had was dead. But I also want to leave in half an hour and I've still got to plat up and load the car and hitch the trailer up. So that's not going to happen. I wanted to leave nice and early so that I could watch some of the cross country, see how it was riding. Certain fences, I just wanted to see how other people were riding it. Um, I know that Kipper really isn't going to like number 15 because she can't see what's on the other side of the fence because it's on a hill. Um, so I just wanted to see how people are riding that. And then my dressage is I think 10 to 2. And then I'm not on show jumping for at least an hour which is nice. There's no rush in the middle. So I am just going to go and plat up, get the trailer hitched up, get the car loaded. And then we will be on our way hopefully. Hopefully in time. We'll see. So I don't even know if we're actually going to make it. I still haven't platters up. The key, the original key for the pickup, still isn't working. Something wrong with the car. I've had to use the key inside the fob to unlock it, and now the alarm's going off. I can get in it and drive it, but I can't exactly turn up to a show with the alarm going off. That's not going to stop for hours, because then the battery will probably die on the car, and I probably won't get home. So who knows if we're even going to get get eventing today which is a bit crap because I really wanted to get this little run in a nice unaffiliated before we went to Skipton next weekend but we might just have to brave Skipton because who knows what's happening <laughs> Thank you. 
So there isn't actually a dressage sheet back yet, I've requested it for them to post it to me so there's no actual comments on this. Um, so I'll just talk you through my opinions of how our test went. Um, we definitely wasn't on the centre line coming down to um, C but we did eventually get there so I can't imagine that marks very good. Um, she was so scared of the car. The car in the arena was just like the biggest deal to her um she couldn't settle to begin with yeah she seen around the corner she couldn't get the right bend um this serpentine i was really happy with thought she was quite quite forward going we had a good bend both ways um you'll see again as we come down past the car she was so spooky so I can imagine we've lost quite a lot of points for that. Um, the, tran the transition to canter, I was really pleased with. Canter was good. I just cut the circle short and it was quite small, which was all on me. You know, she can't go if I don't tell her where to go. Um, not the best downwards transition, but better than it has been. She came back to me quite nicely, which I was happy with. A late transition to walk, again, down to me. Didn't ask her early enough. I was happy with how relaxed she was in the walk, you know, trying to stretch for me, which is something that she struggles with, especially out of shows because of the environment. Um, picked her up to a medium walk, which I, again, I was happy with. Into trot, again, spooking at the car, I'm not happy with it. Um, come around to do our next serving time. This was a bit more tense in comparison to the first one. But again, I was happy with it given it was nicer than the first test we did two weeks ago. So all improvements, we'll take all of them. Um, she was tense here. A good transition with I will. Good for me. I was pleased with it. Um, this circle was better down the bottom end. We, I cut it short. It wasn't quite 20 metres, which again was all down to me. Sorry, Kip. Um, downwards transition I was quite happy with another spook of the car wasn't as bad and then she was tense coming across the diagonal to change the rain and um, really tense trying to run off a little bit above the contact 
couldn't get the right bend. We didn't go down the centre line. We were just off. Um, but I was quite happy with the square halt. First time in forever. She's done a square halt. And there was no one down there to actually capture it. But all in all, given the circumstances, I was happy with her. She is a tent horse. So I expected the scores to actually be a lot worse. But to come out with a 39.8, which was... Better than 41.25 at the combined training. So she's definitely making improvements. Um, I think if she hadn't have spooked at the car every time she went past it, she would have settled a lot quicker into the test. And I think she could have gained a couple of extra points of thinking she would have been more on a 35, which I'd have been really, really pleased with, but all in all happy. So, no cross country for us. Um, dressage was actually a lot better than last. The last attempt that we made, she finished on a 39.8, which was better than a 41.25 than the last test we did. So, I was really happy with that. She was just really spooky at the car. She didn't like the fact that there was a car in the arena. Um, but yeah, all in all, that was much better. Show jumping. I really don't know what's happened show jumping. Um, went into the warm-up, jumped a couple of fences, and then came around to just a small upright. She dropped to her knees, and I went over her head. Landed on my face, so we'll see what the tubular high situation is going to be tomorrow. Um, and then, um, yeah. Went in, 
decided she didn't want to jump number four but jumped everything else so then we just decided it was game over and just retired her um i was gonna go around and jump her around the cross country hc but in me i was actually swollen um, so i'm not sure on that i don't know what to do about skipping that for next week um whether to withdraw completely because something just isn't right show jumping and i don't know what happened because before i sold her she was bob on with the show jumping and now she just she just isn't she can't get, get to grips with it and i don't know whether there's too much going on because she's never invented so it's different between the whole bridal change bit change things like that so we'll just have to see how we feel have a little bit of a school at home through the week try a different bit maybe um and yeah cross that bridge next week i think i might email skipton and see if they will let me drop to the 80 just for a nice confidence boost but we'll see we are home um not the best day definitely not a successful day you will have seen in the previous clips of me talking about the show jumping that she just wasn't feeling herself but we've now come to the realization that um she took a bit of an impact to her chest just before i bought her back in may and i can't remember now whether the owner said it was a kick whether it was she ran into the fence or something but she had a big puncture wound to her chest um the vet cleared her it healed quite well she was on butte anti-inflammatory things like that she had quite a lot of box rest and then quite a lot of easy work before i started bringing her back into work, bringing her back into jumping. Um, Sunday was actually only the fourth time I've jumped her since bringing her home in the beginning of June and we're now, what, August? Um, but I've now come to the realisation that something isn't quite right. Her chest was a little bit puffy and a bit swollen. Her right knee keeps filling. And then we did put her in the trailer um so we're now on thursday tuesday morning to go up to northcote to have a school ride see if we could iron out some problems and when we got there in between her two front legs was all swollen but with fluid like the size of like three golf balls so obviously it didn't take her out the trailer didn't tack her up straight home rang the vet they came out yesterday um and the vet after doing some flexion tests a little bit of lunging a few trot ups feeling it um now seems to think that something was potentially damaged in her sternum when she's had this impact and um, which obviously we wouldn't have known about because she said even if these have x-rayed it the x-ray wouldn't have shown anything because there's that much muscle and that much tissue there but she's starting to lean towards the fact that she thinks that there was something wrong with her sternum possibly a break possibly a chip something along those lines which is why it's healed but, and she's scrolling nicely for me, she's ha quite happy to be ridden. But it's why when we're trying to jump anything, she's a bit jolty. She's putting extra strides in because it's uncomfortable and it must be a bit painful for her. And then obviously on Sunday, you will have seen from the videos where she dropped to her knees once and I went over her head. Checked her over, she seemed fine. So got back on and did attempt the oxa. Again, did the same. Thankfully, a nice gentleman in the warm-up dropped the oxa to a cross ball in front and a small like straight on the back and she jumped it not a problem but then you will have seen how the round obviously went um so came out of that feeling really deflated like we just weren't bonded the way we were when i originally bought her but now it's obviously coming down to the fact that she's in pain and something isn't quite right so um, the kipper footage is unfortunately going to slow down a little bit but you will obviously still see bambi's progression in the vlogs she's got a couple of little outings and a couple of little events planned nothing major but um, Kipper is going to take a little bit of a step back, light lunging, light ridden work, but nothing strenuous, nothing major. Um, the vet has said that it's unlikely that I'll ever, ever event her, which is a shame because she absolutely loves the cross country. Um, she loves it all now. She's starting to settle into the dressage, which is so nice because she's been such a ten ho tense horse for years that I was so shocked that we would even get in what we get out of her for dressage because she just isn't that kind of horse so it's a shame but we can still low level compete her, whether that be hunter trials show jumping you know dressage all at separate occasions so 
you she can still go out so i'm happy about that and you just have to deal with it um we are still sort of investigating why if a knee keeps filling but she seems to think that she's took a bit of, ba of a bash to the knee and she's got some hard tissue in there and maybe some onset arthritis which is rubbish but hopefully with the right maintenance she's not going to deteriorate quickly um so that is us done for the vlog i hope you enjoyed watching yet another show fail one day we'll get there one day we'll event one day i will fall off of the show um but thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and follow our instagram account thank you